you are under the age of 18 and you are watching this video, please stop now. This content is not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to host a swap. I know it has been so very long. I think maybe... I don't know, earlier this year um, since I hosted a swap and I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I know you're getting tired of my wood projects. So I don't have much crafty mojo. Um, right now I'm thinking of actually hosting a live crop on Sunday. So um, stay tuned for more information on that. I do have a couple projects that I need to get done. So um, maybe that'll help get me back into the swing of things. But for now, I'm going to show you examples of the swap. So last year, um, maybe in a couple of years now, um, I've hosted uh, Halloween swaps. And this is no different. This is the Ghoulish Halloween gift set swap, which uh, participants will have to make two Halloween themed uh, bag toppers, including bags. Also two embellishments Halloween themed and this time instead of a memory decks card we're going to do two note cards so I have some examples of the toppers and the um, embellishments but I don't have any examples of note card you guys know how to make a three by three note card with envelope so all of the information will be linked on my blog which needs desperate attention because I haven't been over there in a while either. So, but I'll have the link down below with the new blog post of everything that you need to make. Um, so it's just two bag toppers, two note cards, two tiny embellishments, so or two small embellishments. So hopefully you guys are wanting to participate. There'll be uh, two different themes. There'll be a pastel theme and a traditional. So I'm going to show you the pastel theme here now. And I, as always, you have to live in the United States or have a United States address. You have not um, flaked or been late in the previous swap. I still have my notebook. <laughs> so um, that still applies. And you have crafty YouTube videos uploaded on your channel within the last three months. So if you follow all of those, leave a comment down below and say you want to participate. I will then follow up with a you're in and check the website notification or the swap is full there will be um like i said six groups so three to just three traditional and three pastel themes and each group will have a group of four so small i'm just getting in the swing of things so i don't want to be overwhelmed and uh quit again so um here we go so I'm not sure who this one came this one uh, came from, but this is a pastel um, idea, and it's just light pastel colors, like purples, like pinks, fun, you know, that kind of of um, of swap. So here is this person's um, bag toppers, which I thought were absolutely gorgeous. So you have to include the topper in the bag. So this is super super cute. Look how dimensional. That is, she has the word spooky, a little skull here with some glitter, a little ghost. That opens up to go on to her bag. So that's one idea, and that's the back. Super cute. Of course, you want to add some dimensions. All of this stuff will be linked down below us for the requirements. And then this one, super cute. So creepy hand. I mean, adorable. Look at the dimension on here. Lots of uh, glitter. Love the pastel colors. And then she has an iridescent um, boo bag to go on top. How cute are these toppers? So adorable. And then um, this person has, I'm sorry, I don't have the name on here, her embellishments. She made two rose embellishments. And you can see the Halloween paper peeking out at the in the bottom or underneath. So that's an example of a pastel -oween, a pastel in that group. Here's another example of some um, embellishments. I don't know where these came from. They came out of a came out of somebody's swap. They, it was loose. So how cute is this little web with this tiny little skull and envelope? And then a cute little rosette with another little web. She has the word boo up here. So adorable. So this is an example of two embellishments. And here's another pastelloween. I believe this one belongs to June Chris. 
And here are her bags. So she um, put paper behind her bags. And then here are, this is how she packaged it. Of course, you want to package it super cute. And here are her embellishments and toppers. She also included a tag in here. So look at this topper. How cute! And then it goes on her little bag here. Maybe this one goes on here. Already ready for you to give a treat to someone. And then here's the other one. I think this is so adorable. And that goes on here. So cute. And then here are her embellishments. Look at this chunky embellishment. That is so cute. You can even fold over a bag and put this right on top. <laughs> another bag topper. And then here's another cute little page flag. Just so stinking adorable. So that's it. I like pastel. I like the pastel part. <laughs> um, so that's that for um, the pastel. So let me show you one that's in, or actually I have two examples, in the traditional. And this one belongs to Patricia Trevino, super talented paper crafter. She's included some goodies in here. So here's an example of one of her embellishments. Or maybe this was just in there as an extra, but you, that's that. And then here is an envelope, uh, note card. Look how cute that is. Just so adorable. So, so cute. And the traditional are the traditional colors. The orange, the purple, the green you know, the black, so cream, you know, things like that. Look at her bag and bag topper. So this is her topper, and she has a mummy. This is textured, guys. Look, it really has seam binding on it. Cute! I just love this. It's so cute. And then she has it co to coordinate with this bag. So adorable, the dimension on here. She even has um, floss, or I um, forget what you call that. And then here's this one. She embossed this bag, or this bag came embossed. And this is this bag. And then here is her topper for that. And there's some, look at the punch down here. Some crepe paper, a little fussy, fuzzy spider. Just dimensional. So super cute. Gotta love them. Love, love, love them. So that's Patricia's, and it came in this large acetate um, container. I'm going to put this back. I'm going to use these. I don't know why I have it. Maybe because I don't want to. But I'm definitely going to be giving out some treats. So that I can use this cute, cute packaging. So that's one. And then let me show you another one here. I'm not sure if this one was in this bag. I might have just put it in this bag. I doubt it came like this. Oh, it might have, but it was wrapped in ribbon. Okay. So this is this person's embellishment. She did some butterflies. These are a little larger than the, than what's needed for this swap, um, but super cute anyway. And um, here is this bag topper, and it's a shaker behind here. Cute, 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 cute. And then it's uh, it says treats. There's a little um, pretty trim down here with this large little spider there. It's just so adorable. And this is this bag for that. And then here is this one. She has some um, folded over vellum. And it's some stitching. This cute pom-pom trim. This sequin spider. Cute layers here. And then she has this envelope. Or this bag to go with it. So super cute. And then she had it tied around with some um, lace and this cute little chipboard um, tag that's glittered up. So that's the swap for the traditional colors. So um, that's it guys. Everything will be listed down below in the description box. So be sure to check that link for all of the information. Again, two bag toppers complete with bag, um, treat bag, two embellishments, and two three by three no cards with an envelope. So um, this is open today, Friday, September 4th. And it is post due postmark, I believe, the 25th, which is a Friday. So um, if you're interested, leave a comment down below. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.